take this wheel off. See what kind of damage we got going on. Here's the airbag. We're gonna cut it out so that uh, it's not in our way. go I'm gonna change out the airbag a lot of people say oh you know put like an aftermarket steering wheel but I'm trying to get this car all fixed up to stock because it's been my dream car and I love these cars just plain stock and uh, so I'm gonna do it right do it the right way I mean, I love the steering wheel. I mean, it feels amazing. The paddle shifters feel really nice. I think they're aluminum. They feel really light. 3,090 miles. Basically a brand new car. For some reason, screen is busted, so I gotta replace that. This one's a track edition. Yep. What do you think, son, about this car? Pretty sick. Pretty sick? You love it? Yeah. Remember, it used to be our dream car? Can't wait till daddy fixes it? Yep. It's gonna be fun, huh? Yep. Well, you're gonna start driving me to school with it. That's right. Love these paddle shifters. You start picking me up with it. Fix this airbag. So, yeah, 3,000 miles. Basically, a brand new car. Yep. Can't wait to enjoy it. Here's the uh, 2014 GTR track edition. It's only got uh, 3,000 miles on it. Show you a little bit around it. It's got forged raised engineering wheels. The four piston caliper in the rear. And they got a uh, six piston in the front. I gotta take this side apart because the uh, the knuckle on it is completely busted. Gotta replace this bushing. It's a little scratched up where I might just replace the whole lower control arm. The axle had snapped, so I need a new axle. Um, for previous videos, if you see, I took out already the whole front end. This frame rail is straight. And then this one, if you can see, buckled inside. Not too bad. I'm gonna have to put it on the frame machine, pull it, and then cut this section out to replace it. This whole side of the car, pretty decent shape. No scratches or anything. The fender's got a little ding in right there that I'll have to repair. Get a little more of the interior. on it I don't have the battery connected right now push start button it's track edition track pack is what they call it this is the interior on it and on the uh, track pack, they have these covers for the rear seats. Let me show you back here. If you pull these covers up, it's just 
they're empty down here. So I got two kids, so I'm gonna have to get the, the seats put in. But yeah, I mean, some really comfortable seats on this, on the interior wise, I gotta place the seat belts locked up. And then uh, the steering airbag needs to be replaced. Other than that, really good shape. Window doesn't roll up because it's not connected right now. Show you back here. Got this carbon fiber spoiler. And then this carbon fiber shield all the way underneath. You can see it's pretty clean under here. No damage. Mainly just the front end that got the damage. I'd like to, uh, in the future, once I get this car all rebuilt and fixed up, replace these exhaust with like a Tomei or something. Just really like the sound. Doors in good shape. So basically up here, everything on this side is no damaged. Just mainly this front end. I need a new uh, oil cooler. These lines, if you look, pinched right here a little bit. This is damaged. Damaged a little bit. Motor wise, everything's pretty clean. It's got these Bilstein shocks. I guess, I don't know if they make them on all the GTRs. It's got like a sensor that goes to it for the track edition. But basically I already ordered the uh, knuckle. Gotta replace the knuckle. And then uh, I'm getting a wheel because the wheel on this side was bent. So basically the knuckle, the wheel, and the axle. And then maybe the slower control arm if I can't get this repaired. And then I need to get this replaced. That should be good with the suspension so I can get all that put together so I can take it to the frame. Because right now it won't even roll. Got to get all that in so it can roll. And then this is the main culprit that I need to fix. Get it on the frame, straighten it out. Probably, I don't know, cut it right here somewhere. Maybe even right here. And then this side, a little bit further back. You don't want to cut straight down because then you'll just, it loses its uh, rigidity. But if you cut basically where it's not bent, first pull it as much as you can and then probably cut it here and then back here, probably cut it back here. Might have to take this steering pump out of the way and maybe the, the alternator just so I can have all that room to get back there. But yeah, 2014 GTR track edition. Thank you guys for joining. I'll uh, try to post at least the video once a week. Stay tuned on, you know, seeing uh, the repairs and stuff. If you guys want any questions to ask, what you guys would like to see, just let me know. Comment down below, subscribe. Thank you guys. If you guys like this video, give it a like. Thank you.